Hi everyone, thanks for joining us here today at Cakes Cooking and More. I'm Marie Lockwood. Today's recipe is a trifle. This one is a red velvet with white chocolate cheesecake. So let's see what we need. Okay, so for this recipe, we have some white chocolate chips, a little bit of powdered sugar, some heavy whipping cream divided into two amounts, um, a jello cheesecake pudding mix. This is an instant one, make sure it's an instant. And then we have a red velvet cake mix. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make your red velvet cake the same way you normally would, except for substitute milk for the water. It helps keep it a little more moist. And I've already done mine and they're behind me cooling off. So the next thing we're going to do is work on our white chocolate. And what you're going to do with this is take your bit of whipping cream and heat this in the microwave until it's starting to boil really good. And then we'll be back. Okay, so to get mine to just the boil stage, it took about a minute and a half in the microwave. You're just going to pour that over your chocolate. And just like last time, we're going to let this sit for just a minute to get that chocolate really started melting. Remember, stirring will actually cool this down faster. So we're going to leave it to sit for just a minute. Really get that chocolate warmed up, and then we'll start stirring. Okay, so now that we've let it sit for a little while, we're just going to mix that until our cream and our chocolate are well mixed. It does take a minute to get all of that chocolate completely melted in and then mixed in with your heavy cream. So make sure that you're just stirring it and just keep going until the heavy cream is not so thin anymore. You'll, you'll be able to tell when it gets there. And it does turn a little bit, um, almost yellowish tinge to it from the white chocolate. So no worries there. If you want, you can use gel paste white food color and take it back to a total white. I would if I was doing something like a 4th of July, you know, food and needed it white, but really don't need it white this time, so we're just going to leave it be. Okay, now that we have this pretty well blended, we're going to take out our cheesecake flavored Jello. I'm just going to pour that in. And then we're going to get that well blended. All right, now that this is well blended, I don't have any powder still, we're going to set this aside and then we're going to start on our whipped cream. Okay, so what we have here is our whipping cream and our powdered sugar. And just like last time, we're gonna whip this until we've got good peaks. Then we will add our powdered sugar and mix it again. And then we'll be back. Okay, so at this point, we've got some nice peaks forming. I'm just gonna take that and kind of knock everything back down into the middle. And we're going to add our powdered sugar. And you wanna make sure that you fold this in because remember what happens when you turn on the mixer with the powdered sugar, it just flies. So you just kind of fold it in until the powdered sugar is kind of dampened down so that it won't do that. And for those of you who did not see the last trifle episode, um, this actually makes pretty much basically homemade whipped cream. If you do not add the powdered sugar, this heavy whipping cream has zero taste. So you have to do the powdered sugar or some sort of sweetener. I don't recommend using regular sugar because it's a lot heavier and dense than the powdered but you're welcome to give it a try and let me know how it works out. I know a lot of people don't like powdered sugar because it seems to be sweeter, but it really isn't. And this doesn't come out super sweet. It's actually a little bit lighter than Cool Whip. All right, now once you have your powdered sugar mixed in, we're just gonna give this another blend to make sure it's all well incorporated. Okay, now that that is done, knock off as much as you can and then we're going to set this aside and get everything out so we can put everything together. Alright, so here's our whipping cream, our white chocolate, our trifle container, and our red velvet cake. Now you're going to take your red velvet cake and again just cut it into cubes. And each layer takes about half of one of these cakes. So that's why we're doing two, and we're doing about four layers. 
All right, so what you're going to do is take your container and about half of your cake. You just want to lay your cubes kind of around in a circle, however you want to lay them. Just try to get a little bit of good coverage there on the bottom of your trifle container. Now this trifle is a little bit different. We don't have fruit in this one. But it still comes out really good. Alright, so now that we have our little pieces of cake in there, what you're going to do is take and remember that we are doing four layers, so you need enough for four layers. So use about a fourth of your white chocolate to just get a nice little layer on top. Make sure that you don't overdo it or you won't have enough to finish your whole dish. Alright, then we're going to take a little bit of our whipped cream. And again, you only want about a fourth of it. You just want to kind of spread that as evenly as you can get it, making sure there's a little bit all the way around. It's okay if you can see your cake through the layers. All right, and you're going to continue to do this, all three steps, four times until we reach the top of the container. So we are completely done. This is our red velvet with white chocolate cheesecake trifle. I hope you enjoy this as much as my family does. Thanks for joining us here today. Cakes and more. I'm Marie Lockwood. Have a great day.